Welcome to Real Gist with Moonbeam. Today in the house with me is Engineer Faith Confident. Nice to have you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, our topic today is about a man who was electrocuted a few weeks to his traditional wedding. Mr. Chukudi was electrocuted while trying to fix the issue of no electricity in his apartment even though there was electrical supply in his neighborhood. The deceased is not a staff of any electricity distribution company in Nigeria. Sir, what do you have to say about this? <clears throat> like what you've said already, that the disease was not a, a staff of any of the electricity distribution company. Okay. You've said it. He would have called a professional that knows how to fix the light, to fix the light for him, than for him to fix it by himself because he does not have the idea of what he was doing. Okay. What advice do you have to give to our viewers on the need to get professionals to handle issues in their houses and neighborhoods, especially electrical issues? The advice I have to the viewers, brothers and sisters around, is whenever you have anything that you you don't know how to to, to fix it you look for somebody to fix it like maybe there are some people in their houses if their socket is faulty they will use screwdriver by themselves and be, be trying to force it to open understand and by the time you force it out to open it you might not know if one of the wires has been removed some people now when that wire is being removed now they don't know the very particular point where those wire was removed from so they fix it anywhere, understand? And some of those things cause harms to our family, understand? So what you don't know how to do, you call people to do it. That's my advice. All right, sir. I've seen cases and issues where people get electrocuted or phone exploding because, you know, they are using it while it's plugged. What do you think is the cause? Okay. The first one is the earpiece in your, in your ear. On your ear understand yeah. when you plug your phone in the socket and you put your earpiece in your ears it's very dangerous and the cause why it explodes is because some of the earpiece we are using is standard by level by level standard by standard sometimes you might have some have gotten some damages on the wire and you don't know when the wire now touch itself they call it breach it breach when it breach it sends current back to the phone and when the current goes back to the phone, it goes to the socket directly and the return comes back to the phone. Then it might cause explosion. Understand? That is in the aspect of the earpiece. You understand? Then secondly, putting the phone on yourself when you are lying down, understand? Some of the phone we are using, as we call it, some are Chinas. It depends on the kind of phone you are using. You don't know the expiring date of that phone. It might be close. And you don't know whether it was that day. Then maybe when the phone is plugged in the socket and it's lying on your stomach, understand? You are not lying down. There is a transmission because this is, we are using kinetic energy in our system. When the blood now is contacting that phone, understand? From the current of the socket now, the phone can explode. Understand? All right, sir. Please talk about the need for people to be responsible in paying their bills, especially BHCF. Okay. In the aspect of paying bills, as you have just said, if you are a customer and you've been issued NEPA bill to pay and you've not paid your bills and NEPA, which is PHE, they come to disconnect you, which everybody knows as NEPA. Okay. If they come to disconnect you, they are disconnecting you based on the fact that they've given you supply and that supply needs to be paid for. Understand? So in that aspect now, when you have not paid and you and never come to disconnect to which is PHED, they are telling you not to come to the office and pay your bills so that they will come back and reconnect you themselves. But when they disconnect you when you have not paid and you now went on your own in the night and go and call illegal people like the electricians that does not have the idea of climbing a pole, they do the climb and they connect you and sometimes it's part of the reason why, why we are having electrocution understand so 
is 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 still very is very very responsible to go and connect yourself. Why not call PhD to connect you when you've disconnected? Okay, we've heard it all from our special guest today with the person of engineer faith confidence. Pay your bills. Get professionals to fix whatever electrical issue you have in your house. Don't do it yourself. What you don't know, you don't know. And what you don't have, you cannot give. Employ the services of professionals to carry out jobs in your house. The life of this young man would have been saved if he hired an electrician to fix the electrical fault in his apartment. This is all we have for you today. Remember, this is Regist. I am your favorite host, Moonbeam. Bye.